Hey, it's me. Sorry I look so crusty. I've been stuck at the hospital for like two fucking days. Um. Ugh. But on the bright side, I'm here for kidney stones this time instead of regular CF stuff. So every time they check things like my pole socks and stuff, my numbers are actually good and it's like nice and also with the way that my kidney stones are it's not like like I'm not passing them so it's not like horrible it was I uh, I went to the ER on Saturday it's now Monday um because <coughs> my back hurts so freaking bad and then I threw up all over the place um and then then I started to feel better or whatever, but basically there's a, there's a kidney stone that's like, huh, sorry, it's like five millimeters long, which is like, I don't know, probably like the size of this straw? I don't know, maybe bigger. Um, well, they said it's at least five millimeters long, because they said it's five millimeters long, and then someone else came by and said, um, he was wrong, it's bigger. So, I don't know how much bigger, but anyways, it's like stuck, like, so there's like the big part, and then there's like the little tube, and I guess it's like stuck and trying to go down, so like, when it was trying to go down, it was when my back really hurt, but it probably moved out of the way a little bit, so it's like, like literally no back pain right now, but they have to do surgery, so they're gonna go up my urethra, up my little pee hole, and like, like, shoot it with a laser and then put a stent in and then I have to come back and get the stent taken out I don't fucking know but whatever I'm mostly pissed that I can't eat because they were oh, well, let me tell you they were gonna do the surgery yesterday so on when I got here on Saturday um, they mentioned, like, I ate, like, a take five bar, and then, like, right afterwards, they were, like, oh, because they wanted me to give a urine sample, and they were, like, or I asked for water, and, oh, I don't know if you should be drinking water, because you might need surgery, and I'm, like, well, okay, and I, like, nonchalantly didn't mention that I ate a take five bar, and then, um, they were talking about surgery, and I was, like, well, I gotta tell you, because, like, I don't want to fuck anything up. And they're like, oh, okay, um, so, yeah, then you probably wouldn't be, like, eligible for surgery until the middle of the night, which means the next morning and whatever. So they were, like, basically, they were trying to get me in for surgery yesterday, but then, because of my CF, they decided that they had to talk to anesthesia and, and decide if I was safe to go under anesthesia. And I'm, like, sitting here, like, okay, I feel better than I've felt in terms of my lungs in quite a long time not to mention there's people <coughs> who feel awful who go under to get lung transplants and I know um my CF doctor signed off that like my lungs are healthy enough for me to get um like, a certain trans-related surgery, so I'm like, I literally cannot be that bad, like, but of course, they couldn't talk to anesthesia until yesterday morning, or I had to talk to them to, like, she had to evaluate me, and she's like, I don't even know why they're making me do this, like, you seem fine, and I'm like, exactly, it's because they took an x-ray, and they saw mucus in there, and decided that I might have pneumonia, and I'm like, okay, but how about you actually test me, because I always have mucus in there, because I have CF, like, you don't understand, because these people that were checking for me were in the ER and aren't, like, CF specialists, so, like, I, like, I get, like, that they want to be safe, but I'm just, like, but I know I'm fine, and then, so by the time the anesthesiologist, like, okayed me for surgery, all of yesterday was booked up, so I had to sit in the hospital yesterday doing nothing, and then, um, and then I had to stop eating at midnight again, because yesterday they wouldn't let me eat after midnight, just in case I got surgery. And yesterday, 
So I couldn't eat until like, I think I missed breakfast, but then I got lunch because I had some friends come over and that was nice. Then I have to stop eating at midnight again last night and drinking. So my mouth is like crusty as fuck. And um, my surgery is not until three. This is the hospital. And for anyone who knows the hospital, as well as I do, three o'clock means we'll think about it at three, but we might not get you in until like five or six, you know? And especially if I'm at three, they have how many hours? Like, let's say they started doing surgeries at like six this morning, okay? Or even eight, okay? Eight to three, that's seven hours that they have <clears throat> to have any amount of surgeries be longer than they were expecting or something gets fucked up and so it takes longer or like whatever that's so many surgeries that can go wrong that then delay the next surgery and then the next surgery and then, and then me or whatever like I don't know how many surgeries they have Earlier in the day, it could be one really long one or a bunch of really short ones or whatever. But I'm just saying, there's a lot of possibility that I will not even be going down to the OR until like five or something like that. And I'm like, are you serious? Because they told me this is a quick and easy procedure. It's like, takes an hour. I'm like, can you just like sedate me here? Just do it here. I don't give a fuck. Um, but... Yeah, so, honestly, like, it sucks because I had to call off work, like, yesterday, today, and tomorrow, because they're going to keep me overnight. And even if I get out tomorrow, if I get out, I might actually go into work, but if I get out tomorrow, I probably won't get out until, like, like, at the earliest, it would be at noon, and my shift at work starts at 1, so it's, like, you know, but I mean, my boss doesn't matter or anything, um, but still, like, I like to work, because then I have off on Wednesday and Thursday, which, like, for most people sounds like, wow, you just got, like, yourself a whole long-ass weekend, but, like, I don't, I don't want that, like, I, I'd like to be at work, I'd like to make money and not die, um, all that fun stuff, so, I'm a little bit annoyed with that, but I'm happy that I'm feeling okay. I have to. Huh, that they're gonna get this stone out. Um. But <coughs> <coughs> Yo, but I do wanna say, hold on. Hold on. I wanna say. How. Like. Irritating it is. That one, people can't read my name. Every time I go to the doctors, there's somebody that fucks it up. And it is not that hard a name. Bryn. Literally, like, the name Lynn. L-Y-N-N. -N, nobody has a problem with that. Nobody questions it. Everyone reads my name, and they either think it says Brian. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Or, they read it, and they're like... Um, but br uh, Brian, Bryn, Bren, Brienne. I'm just like, oh my god. Like, I don't know. I just, it just makes me so mad. <coughs> and so I'm like, it is not that fucking hard. Like, especially when they call it, like, like at least when they're confused about how to pronounce it, they're like looking at the name and just don't know how to pronounce it. But when they just whip out their little chart and say Brian I just completely ignore them I'm like I'm sorry that you're too fucking stupid to read the name that you're too stupid to do your job like it's literally your job you come in contact with a zillion people you should know that like there are names that aren't like completely common but Bryn isn't even that weird of a name because then once I tell them my name is Bryn half the time they're like oh that's my granddaughter's name oh that's that's this person's name that I know and I'm like then why was it so fucking hard for you 
to recognize it as a name. It just pisses me off. So yeah, I had a nurse do that here that I had to correct. And one of the people in the ER, I just ignored her. And my sister was there. She was like, Brent, Brent. And I was like, shut up. So, yeah, I hate being called names that aren't my name, but whatever. Um, yeah, I just want the surgery because honestly, I just want to eat. I don't give a fuck. I just want to eat. Ugh. You want my hair so crusty. Uh uh. Ugh. Whatever. Okay. I guess that's it. Okay, so I had the surgery. Um, it's like dark out now. That's why the loading is different. And I pulled my hair back. Um, so they went in there and blasted up that kidney stone. Uh, so now there is um, a little bit more pain because the pain had basically gone away because it had moved, but now it's all trying to filter out. So it hurts. Um, but everything went fine. <laughs> I woke up and started crying because I was sad because I was all alone. <laughs> um, but yeah, everything went well. Um, I'm eating now. Let me tell you about this. <clears throat> so I have cystic fibrosis and diabetes. So typically if someone has diabetes, they're supposed to like limit how much sugar or carbs that they eat because like the more you eat of that stuff then that's like bad for you because your body doesn't know what the fuck to do with it um but because i have cystic fibrosis they tell me not to limit that because i need to eat so much to gain weight well because i'm in here for kidney stones um the doctors that are in charge i think they're just called like medicine doctors um where normally when I'm in the hospital, I have the pulmonologist following me who like specializes in lungs and understands CF a lot better. Um, so they put it through that I have a carb limit because they don't know that, I, I guess they like either don't know or weren't thinking that things are different because of my CF. So they put me in as like, that I'm supposed to have a carb limit. So then I basically couldn't get all the food that I want <clears throat> and that I'm supposed to be eating because I'm supposed to have a certain number of calories a day and um, I also haven't eaten all day so I gotta like scrunch them all into right now and um, it's like they sent me they sent me a dinner on a tray which was like ugh. so then they told me that I was allowed to ask for them to bring me specific things and so I did, and then he was like, well, you can't have all of that because that exceeds your limit. And I was like, what limit? And so now they have to like page the doctors because of course they fucking went home for the day. And they have to be like, <clears throat> can you fix Bryn's order because you done fucked it up because you forgot to take... Sorry, it said that my thing was at 20% or less. But anyways, like, oh, you fucked it up and... um. You forgot to take into consideration that Baron has cystic fibrosis and needs to eat a shit ton of food. So, like, so I guess they're, like, fixing that now. But they did get, um, one of the nurses to go down and get me food from the cafeteria. Um, and then I guess, like, I'm allowed to eat that. Or, like, once it goes through, I'm allowed to eat it or whatever. Like, once the the order goes through that I don't have a limit or whatever but I'm just like really like I get that like it's not your specialty but it's just like frustrating because I have to educate doctors about being trans and because like literally all my doctors <clears throat> half the time are reading my uh hormone replacement therapy and they're like what's that and I'm just like oh my god and then I have to explain it to them and then like when when I first was getting low on my weight and um, trying to gain weight. Oh, hold on one second. 
Oh shit, it's not gonna fit. Okay, then I'll just finish this quick before it dies. Um, but when uh, they were uh, telling me to gain weight, they were like, oh, well, you can use one of those apps that says, um, like how much you need to eat to gain weight, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, should I register on there as male or female? And they're like, I don't know. And I'm like, well, you should know, because you're a fucking doctor. Like, you should know. Like, and I figured out, like, what I was supposed to do. But, like, it just bothers me that I have to educate them on, like, the medical purpose of trans things. Like, it doesn't bother me that they don't know, you know, like, the other stuff about trans things. Because that's not their job. But when you're a doctor, you're supposed to, like, why am I educating somebody who went to school for, like, what is it, eight to 12 years, I'm telling you about medicine, like you should know. And then same now with this, like, oh, I have to inform them that I have to eat a lot of calories, especially something like CF. Like, at least like with the trans thing, it's just now kind of getting momentum and being recognized and being taught. Um, but with CF, like that's, pretty broad enough that they should have fucking known that and now I have to wait and I have to like why can't you just fucking do your job like that I, I don't I don't fucking get it like you should be able to look at all and even even all the things like 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 I had to explain to the doctor before like no I have lung or I have mucus in my lungs because I have cystic fibrosis not because I have fucking pneumonia like and like I mean that's like that's a little different because at least they're being concerned with things and like overthinking things <clears throat> rather than underthinking them but you'd think these medical doctors would have seen these medical doctors yeah these doctors would have taken a look and seen that I have diabetes and cystic fibrosis which isn't all that uncommon like I think half of the people with CF end up developing diabetes so like, it's, it's not, like, r super rare, but you'd think they would see that and at least question, like, oh, well, we know, like, that they, I don't know, that they'd be, like, maybe we should ask about that. Maybe we should just look at the last time Brent was here and see if there was any, like, dietary restrictions or, like, like, at least, like, think about it instead of just being, like, Brent has diabetes, let's just fucking forget about the CF thing. So it's the day after surgery. Um, I already explained most of it, but I'm feeling good. Um, I get to go home today, or I should, because that's what they've been telling me. Um, but you know, well, I know hospitals. Um, like that one's the store. I don't know. Um, okay, or not. Uh, I'm eating pancakes for breakfast, but they still didn't uh, edit my diet even though the nurse paid them three times. So that's great. It's important to have doctors that don't respond ever when you try to tell them things because that's that's what doctors are here for. Okay. Um, but yeah, I have pancakes, I have strawberries. Um, I just can't wait to go home and eat. I mean, I'm eating here, but different when you're at home. Um, the pain is like, so they have a stent inside me and I can feel that. And there's like little baby kidney stones. Like I guess, I was kind of confused on why they did both and I'm still not really sure, but I thought they just shot the stone and then put a stent in so that all the stones could come out. Cause now it's a bunch of baby stones. But I guess they shot the stone and then pulled out the big pieces, or most of it, or he said, we got the stone. But I know I've passed a few stones since then, so he said there might be little fragments and stuff. Um, just sitting here, I don't have, like, intense pain, like it's there, and I'd rather it not be, but it doesn't, like, take up my focus. Um, but when I go to pee, oh my god, it feels like the world is on fire. I don't know, it's just, whew, it's horrible um but then as soon as I'm done peeing it fine so um I'm sure I'll be fine you know whatever um 
yeah, I want to go home. Um, because I need to do laundry. Oh, that's another thing. Normally when I go to the hospital, I know that I'm going to be here for a while because it's for my lungs and I'm always in here for a little while. But when I went to the ER, first off, I was in a rush because it was an emergency. And second off, I didn't come from home. Um, I was actually, <clears throat> I was out somewhere and it just kept getting worse and so I left and came here. And then also, because it was the ER, like, I was, what I thought they were going to do was just give me pain meds and then um, schedule me as an outpatient for surgery. That was, like, my guess, because um, they had done that before when I got um, kidney stones, although the last time I got them, it, like, they caught them because there was blood in my urine, not because of pain, so, and... Um, I guess the stone itself was like in the, in the, it was like, it was somewhere else, I, I, in the kidney, I think, instead of in the bladder or something like that. And so like, because this was moved further along, they couldn't do that, but like, I wouldn't know that. But anyways, I wasn't anticipating actually being admitted and being here for a few days. So, um, I've had this shirt and that nice little like maroon colored shirt. Sorry, someone came in. <clears throat> so I could do my own um, lung treatments or whatever. Um, but yeah, I've been dressed all like a bum in the same fucking outfit for the last four days. And I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna sham uh, shampoo my hair tomorrow. Um, which means I gotta put oil in it tonight. And. Yeah, I haven't seen the doctors yet, but once they come in, I'll be like, I'm going home, right? And then I should be put in to go home. So, I'm excited. Okay, bye.